So, I do believe that you, who you all here in Cluj, in Romania, have an awesome opportunity. And I see all the time that a lot of people are not aware of this fantastic environment that you have. I think what you can do is, here's one of the best environments in the world to create a kick-ass company. You've seen today a lot of people, professional dancers, theater actors. I can do none of that. But I'm very passionate about entrepreneurship. And this is what I'm going to talk to you about. And I live for the last five years in Romania. So I've seen that it's possible. And I hope that I can affect a few of you with the virus of entrepreneurship. Because it's like dancing. Once you have it, you'll never get rid of that. And I want to give you a bit of a backstory of why the subject of this talk. This year in May, I had the fantastic opportunity to go with our economic minister and 30 of the most well-known and best respected startups to the Silicon Valley and meet people like Mark Andreessen, tech billionaire and founder of Netscape, uh, Sheryl Sandberg, COO and number two at Facebook, or the co-founder of Sun Microsystems, Andy Bechtolsheim. And I've been with all these fantastic German entrepreneurs there, European entrepreneurs. And the key thing which I took away is, in all the discussions we had with the best and brightest people in the world, these people always did ask, how can we be so awesome as you can be? And I said, wow, that's the wrong question. So we had a dinner with Mark Andreessen, and I was asking him, Mr. Andreessen, you know, you're a billionaire, I'm a small entrepreneur, but with all due respect, I do not care how awesome you are. I want you to tell me how I can kick your ass. That was the key question. And then the bad part started. German biggest newspaper quoted me with my name. My mother read it the next day and said, son, I did not raise you to use such foul language. <laughs> so, <laughs> if my mother sees this talk of the subject, I'm pretty sure I'm dead. So I hope it will never be posted online or my mother will not see it. So the message which I want to give to you is that I do believe Entrepreneurship, as Schumpeter, one of the biggest thinkers in economic theory, defined entrepreneurship as creative destruction, right? So you need to destroy something. If you copy something, you'll never create something new. You always have to destroy something in order to create something better. That is at the heart of entrepreneurship. And what I do see, I see a lot of this. I see a lot of people crying. Saying, oh, we're in Romania, it is so hard. Nobody gives me a million euro. I could create the next Facebook, but I do not have the money. And I think that is bullshit. That is complete bullshit. I think there's a core rule for everybody, and that applies for everybody in life. If you have a situation, either love it, then fantastic. Change it, or if you cannot do that, then leave it. So if Romania is so bad, if Europe is so bad, then go to Silicon Valley and try your luck there. So this is one of the key learnings that everybody should follow. And one thing that I've seen, and now it comes to the part why I do believe that you have so many opportunities. We have to understand that Europe or Romania will never be Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley is awesome and it is unique. No doubt about that. But there's many, many things which can we do much better from here, which you cannot do in Silicon Valley. Because entrepreneurship is not finding the weaknesses of somebody and kicking them in there and looking for your own strength. And I've seen a lot of strengths here and the people should be much more proud about them than always complaining about the weaknesses. So let me give you the four key reasons why Romania and Europe is awesome to create a company. The number one thing is the availability of talent. You have fantastic, you have fantastic universities here. You have the best universities in the world. And I always have one experience. We with our company, often I take a few of my software developers to Romania, as to the US, to the Silicon Valley. And they always are very afraid, saying, ooh, there's the super people who graduated Stanford. They can develop software 10 times better than I can. And then we go over there, say, whoa, they are just software developers. They are just people. They don't have a 10 times bigger brain than me. This is not how it is. So you can create something here with the best people. And you have fantastic talent, especially in the domain of technology. And this is like the key thing. In order to create a great company, you need great people. And that you have here. So let's try a simple experiment. So you're the best and brightest people in the whole Cluj ecosystem. I mean, why else would you spend your Saturday of free time listening to many speakers if you could also spend it at home or at the pool, in the sauna, wherever? So this makes you the best people of the Cluj ecosystem. So let's make a simple experiment. 
Let's say I would start another company. Who in here would work for me for 5,000 euro a month? Come on, raise your hands. Okay, awesome. So, let's try the same thing in San Francisco. And I guarantee you, I would not see a single hand. So do you understand what advantage you have? I could tomorrow start a company with 100 or 200 of the best people in whole Romania. And imagine what kind of company we could create. And that for a price that is very, very reasonable. And then there's the second thing. The local competition in Romania sucks. Sorry to say that. But people who are passionate, they want to change the world. The people want to work on the next Facebook. They want to work on the next Apple. But a lot of companies in Romania, they're outsourcing companies. And that's not very exciting, to be frank. So if you are in Silicon Valley, you have to hire your people against Facebook, Google, or Apple. Here you have to hire it against me and some other shitty companies. <laughs> so this is like a huge advantage which you have. And that is massive. Thank you. <laughs> so, and then, and then there's another thing. The world is becoming flatter. A few years ago, you might have to attend Stanford or MIT to get the top knowledge of the world. Nowadays, in your browser at home, you can listen to all of education that MIT or Stanford offers. And you can interact with the professors. So from here, from Romania, you have maybe a closer connection than somebody who is sitting there. And you can listen to TED Talks. So there's an awesome amount of resources. So you have all the knowledge which you need to create a company in Romania without traveling anywhere. And then the fourth thing, which is important for, money, for companies. You do need money. You often need access to money. And historically, this has been very, very hard in Romania. So I know that it's not so easy to create a company without money. We also had to raise money in the beginning. And this is changing here. There's now dedicated funds, there's LaunchUp, there's Eleven, there's Hubraum, there's many more which are pouring money into Romania. And they do this because they see that here's an opportunity. They know that in Silicon Valley, there's a lot of money around and there's too much money for the companies that are created. And here's too little. And normally what a good economy does, it balances it. If there's one too much on one side, too little on the other side, the money starts flowing here. So you can maybe not raise a million or 10 million here easily, but you can raise 50 or 100,000 euros, and with that you can do a lot. So let me recap the four key points which you have for building companies here. You have fantastic teams, you have low competition, you have great resources, and you have money. In my opinion, that's all what you need to create a company. But let's look for some people who did it. Let's not look always at Mark Zuckerberg, you know? One thing that's a big problem is all the young entrepreneurs from Germany, from Romania, they always look at the international media and they said, I want to be like Mark Zuckerberg. But the reality is you will not be like Mark Zuckerberg. But there is a lot of tech billionaires in Europe who created awesome companies. They're just not so well known. So I bet a lot of you will not know all of the four or not, all, or not any of the four people. And they are four of the most brilliant European entrepreneurs. And two of them are from Eastern Europe, Two of them are from Germany. So let me walk you quickly through this, what these guys did to create a billion dollar company and do it from Europe. So the first guy which you see um, on the upper left is the founder of Badu. Badu is uh, it's a dating company, it doesn't matter. I'm not saying that the company is great, but he managed the thing to make within two years more than 100 million euros revenue and tens of millions of profit. And he was at a tech conference to uh, focus on the like, American scene. And he was with two American entrepreneurs. And he asked on a stage like this, if any of you can name who I am and who my company is, who creates more than 100 million turnover, then I'll give you 5% of my company. Nobody could name him. But people should know and you should know because you should do what he does. And what he did is make money from the beginning. He didn't raise tons of venture capital money like Facebook or Twitter did. He did make money, a very traditional business way. And this way he started a big company which he owns and which he controls. That's very important. The other guy on the top is Hasso Plattner, the most famous German tech entrepreneur. He created a company called SAP, which is an enterprise software company. And he's now one of the biggest philanthropists in Germany. He has spent more than a billion on creating universities and so on in Germany. So he's a well-respected figure. And he did also from the beginning say, enterprises can pay me. I'm not creating a social product. I'm creating a product where people can pay me. And he made money from the get-go. His company is worth tens of billions of euros now. And he is uh, one of the most respected figures. So that's the number one trick. Make money in Europe. You do not have that much from venture capitalists, but you can make money from your customers.
The lower two people, you can see a very controversial figure. The one is Mark Sumver. He's one of the three Sumver brothers who are creating a hundred businesses in the last five years, a hundred companies. And out of these hundred companies, 10 are worth more than 100 million euro. And several of them reached billion euro status. So no entrepreneur in Silicon Valley, not Steve Jobs, not Elon Musk, nobody else in Silicon Valley created more than 10 companies worth more than 100 million euros. So he has a world champion of entrepreneurship, in my opinion. He's very controversial, but what he does very well is he understands that businesses need to be localized. He understood that in Germany, in Romania and other markets, the customers are not the same as in the US. So what did he do? He created a German version of eBay. He created a German version of Facebook. He created a German version of PayPal and a lot of these things. And he won by making sure that he localizes its businesses. So by, by being in Europe, you have a huge advantage to be able to tackle different markets than the US very, very quickly. And on the other side, you can see a guy who is even more crazier. It's Ilya Segalovich. Unfortunately, he's deceased by now. But what he did create, he created Yandex, a search engine in Russia, which is having a bigger market share than Google in Russia. They have over 50% market share. And he did that also by localizing. So he wins in a market that nobody else wins. So these are the tricks that you should copy and that you should follow. So let me tell you what are the tricks and the secrets to build a company from Romania. So as I told, Make the traditional thing, make money. You don't need venture capital. If you have a paying customer, then this is worth gold. You do not need anybody else to be in control of your company. Just ask them to pay the bills and create a huge, awesome company. That is very important. And the second thing is, exploit the weak spots of Silicon Valley. Learn not where they're strong and try to copy them. Learn where they're weak and beat the shit out of them. Really, really. I cannot hear it anymore that they are so strong. In 10 years, I want that we are better than them. And what are their weaknesses? The weaknesses are cost. I work with a company in the US and an engineer from them was hired from Google. And Google, over three years, paid him more than $1 million. With that, I can create a whole team of 10 people in Romania. This is awesome advantage. I can beat the shit out of them with this. So this works. And then there's also one more trick which comes from the financial world. So this is called arbitrage. Arbitrage in basic terms means buy cheap at one place, sell expensive at another place. Fairly simple concept, right? And this is a concept well known to Romania because this is what all the outsourcing companies do. They produce in Romania at low cost, sell internationally at a high cost. That's a very good trick, but it doesn't work only for outsourcing. It works also for tr product businesses. And it means that what you should do is you should not create a company that is producing in Romania and selling in Romania, but you should make sure that the things that you can do in Romania are great, and that is creating a product, creating a company you do here in Romania. The things which you can do fantastically international, this means raising venture capital money, selling your product, or marketing your product, that you can do in the other markets. And this is such an easy trick, but it will give you so huge benefits. This is awesome. And what you need to do is, at the end, I'm telling you, don't create a Romanian company. We're far past the stage. Create a global player. If you want to be ambitious, Romania is not big enough of a market. You need to create a company that from Romania can conquer the world. So in order to do this, you need to have a global presence. A US customer is not going to buy from a Romanian guy or girl. This is not going to happen if he does like, have to travel all the way, time zones and so on. But you can have one salesperson in Silicon Valley and they buy and trust this salesperson. And then you do all the product here. This you can do, and this is how it works. Because a lot of people here are, are afraid to create global companies. And I think this is the trick. You need to make sure that you have both a strong Romanian roots, but also outlets in other countries where you want to sell and make the money. And that's not easy to do, but it's absolutely possible. And you need to also learn one thing. I told you all the time how awesome Romania is, and I strongly believe in it. But I also think you need to be very realistic what you cannot do very well here. I think that a lot of things which I've seen here are fantastic. The tech universities are just stunning. The people coming out of them are great. Business people are great and a lot of other domains too. One thing which I've seen, sadly, is that a lot of people who come from marketing universities, from the universities, are not so great. I think a lot of teachers who have grown up in communism do not know exactly well how marketing works. I think a lot of people learn that later on. 
A lot of great people are here as well. But I think the strongest you can be if you combine your local resources with global ones. So make sure to understand very well where you have the best people and then take them, also if that's marketing, also if that's sales, it doesn't matter, but never make a compromise on people. You cannot accept anything that's substandard. If you're setting out to compete with a company like Google, you need to beat them at every single domain. And for some domains you can do it from here, with some you need external help. So that is what you should do. So let me leave you with one thing at the end. And I think this is very, very important. I do believe that the window of opportunity here is great. I think what, what Abraham Lincoln said defines my vision of entrepreneurship. What he said was, the best way to predict the future is by creating it. And I think we here all have the awesome opportunity to create any future which we want. And that's, that's why I'm an entrepreneur, that's why I'm infected with this virus. Because I want to create a future, I have a vision, I do not want any politicals to create a future for me. I want to create my future and I have a certain vision and I'm working hard to do that. And I think this is what all of you can do. And I think in the next five to ten years you will see that there is a Romanian tech billionaire. And the probability of that being you, instead of you going to the Silicon Valley and become there the biggest entrepreneur, is much, much higher. There is already the Mark Zuckerberg and the Steve Jobs of Silicon Valley. But you can be the future Ilya Zegalovic, the future Hasso Plattner, the future Mark Zamver of Romania. And that is an awesome opportunity. And that I seriously hope that some of you are going to take it. If you will not do that, then I'll do that. Thank you very much.